welcome to the lecture on what is yin yoga. The term yin comes from ancient Taoist philosophy. According to Taoist philosophy, all energy originates from the same primordial source. This source can be divided into two energies, yin and yang. Ancient Chinese philosophies and Taoist principles believe there are connective pathways of yin and yang energy that run through our bodies. These are described as meridians. In basic terms, it's believed that the structure of the meridian channels is related to the connective tissue system. As we practice yin yoga, the aim is to work with the meridians while stressing the connective tissue system, our fascia. Fascia is a highly organized mesh formulation comprising of cells, collagen and elastin fibers and a gel-like fluid called ground substance. Its job is to attach stabilize, enclose, and separate muscles and internal organs. We can think of fascia as the most sensitive, highly interconnected system in the entire body. If you imagine a piece of meat like a chicken breast, you can often see a white tissue web interweaved around and throughout the meat. This is fascia and it's exactly the same for us. Our body is intimately connected by fascia. The main causes of tension within the fascia system include accidents or direct injuries. We can overuse a part of the body, poor posture, abnormal bone structure, stress that affects our breathing, the holding of conscious or unconscious tension, metabolic disorders, and a sedentary lifestyle. It's also believed that information about our entire life experience is stored within this connective tissue, including situations from early childhood experiences, family genes, even previous incarnations, in the fascia, we store emotions, mental and physical pain, shock and tension. Our mind, also subconscious mind, expresses itself in the form of thoughts. These thoughts go deeper into the body as feelings and emotions. Every emotion manifests itself as a sensation in the body and influences us physically, energetically and mentally. As humans, we can unconsciously contract our tissues in response to stress and long-held strong emotions such as grief and anger. We can subconsciously forget how to relax and let go, meaning that our tissues can remain in a constant contractive state. Many of these conditions, when not fully recognized, become stored as tension deep in the body, especially within the connective tissue or fascia. Our thoughts also directly influence the flow of energy within the meridian system and the state of your physical body and health. This includes your organs, the nervous system, your blood circulation, hormonal balance, muscles and bones, your breathing, digestion, and the structure and function of our cells. A long held yin yoga shape helps to create a space where we can recognize our emotions and allow them to service. This can enable the structure of fascia to change, which brings healing, not only to the emotional, but also physically. 
It also releases the stagnant energy known as prana or chi that's held within the physical body. This not only improves our physical performance but can help to dissolve blocked energy and allow for a more healthy current of energy to flow through the meridian system. Our active yang yoga focuses mainly on your muscles. Even though these styles can still be slow and meditative, you're using your muscles to move and hold your skeleton system. Yin yoga is the opposite. There's a distinct lack of engagement of the muscles, so we can work with a deeper tissue, your fascia. This is why yin yoga is floor-based, so you can relax your muscles and target the fascia tissues. In your yin yoga practice, when you sit in a pose for an extended period, you are pulling and stressing the fascia slowly and gently. During this time, the fluid within the connective tissue is being squeezed out. We then lie down and take our resting space called the rebound. When it rebounds, the fluid within the connective tissues flush back and you get a cleaning of the fascia tissue. As we first sit in our pose, it can feel quite heavenly, but then we can hit the zone of uncomfortable. This is because we are literally changing our cells and tissues. We can really come up against ourselves and what is stored within this soft tissue. It can be uncomfortable on all three levels, physically, emotionally, and mentally. But this is also the magic of the yin yoga practice. We've come to the end of the lecture. If you'd like to learn more about the yin yoga practice, do check out the links in the description for both my online and Bali trainings. Namaste.